But this is the first romance book I actually like. Yeah. You may say I'm a dreamer. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. I feel very enthusiastic today. I don't really know why. I'm just like in a good mood. I'm in the mood. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> be a good idea in today's video to talk about my favourite short books. I always feel like around this time of year everyone starts panicking. Shit starts hitting the fan because people are either like on track for their Goodreads goal or they're way 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 off. The ultimate shade of it all. I thought I would help out those people who are way, 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 way off and talk about some of my favourite short books. These are also great if you're in a slump. I'm going to be going from order of shortest to not Shortest, no. <laughs> dum dum. From shortest to longest. So in my trusty notebook, which I got from Fairy Loot, if you haven't seen my unboxing of Fairy Loot, I'll link it. I think it is that side. My first recommendation is the first in the series of Ghosted in LA. So Ghosted in LA volume one by Cena Grace. This is so short. This is this took me like three minutes to read. It's 28 pages. So like Bring, bring it to me. me. You, you know, know like, like bring, bring me those short pages. pages. This is about a girl who moves to LA because her boyfriend's there. And she's like, I'm moving for the guy, you know? I'm going where he is. He breaks up with her as soon as she gets there. And she runs away and comes across this house full of ghosts. I've basically told you the whole premise of the first volume. It's called Ghosted in LA. Like, what am I supposed to tell you? I am so excited to read the rest in this series. This is all on script. Like, the whole thing, all the volumes are available for free on script. I will leave my link down below where you can get 30 days free of script in my link. It's actually 60 days free, so go get that coin, my guys and gals XOXO. The reason I think this is so good is we all love those ghostly vibes, you know? I love a bit of ghostly taste, a little bit spooky. Scooby Doo. <laughs> like when ghosts are in this kind of like fun way, not scary way, I love it. I love a bit of ghost fun. My favorite ride at Hollywood Studios in Florida is the Tower of Terror, where there's all the ghosts. This kind of house that she stumbles upon has the same kind of like art deco vibes of the Tower of Terror and I just live for it. So I can't wait to read the rest of this series. I might even read one today, who knows? Kind of feel like it, kind of in the mood. Anyway, <laughs> I really like the art style as well. So yeah, if you need like a super duper quick read, this is one I'd recommend because it would take you like four minutes. Next on my list is Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is 87 pages? Yeah, 87 pages. So I read this, I think Riley gave me this recommendation. I can't remember why I needed to read it. It was for some sort of readathon I was doing, I think. It's about a man and woman who basically find out that their respective partners are having an affair with each other. The cheated on individuals are writing letters to one another about this affair, about how they feel. And like, yo, w okay. We all know Taylor Jenkins reads excellence from books like, I just really realized it's here, Daisy Jones and the Six. Like we're all aware, but her older books are never spoken about. This book, I read it in literally like 20 minutes. It's so good. It's so good. It's, it's really good. I love it. I love it. The stuff that happens, you're like, ooh, uh, giving us a bit of, ooh, ah, you know, it's that kind of, it's that kind of feeling. I'm getting older. I, I don't know if I can, if I want all this drama all the time, if I'm being honest. Most of us have read Taylor Jenkins read, I think, and most of us love her stuff. So like what better to go and read a short book from an author you already know that you enjoy. I really like it in that letter format. It's a really interesting thing that I don't read enough of, like just a book told entirely through letters because you learn a lot about the characters in kind of the stuff that people will divulge through letters that they wouldn't necess necessarily say. However, it's still slightly unreliable because people don't fully tell the truth if they're not speaking face to face I think and like you don't tell everything through letters so there's some stuff that is really cleverly revealed as time goes on that like our characters obviously knew about for a long time that we don't know so it's some good shit it's some good shit I just the memory of being in my bed in Leeds reading this book on my iPad like just feeling so cozy and just be like oh ah it was just a really oh ah <laughs> 
it was just a really nice reading experience so I would definitely recommend that. Next is The Test by Sylvain Nouvelle. So this is about the British citizenship test. It's about a man who wants to take the British citizenship test. That's what I'm gonna say. Like it takes a strange turn, it's very short, but it takes a very unusual, unexpected turn. When I realized where this was going, I was shook. I was shook. Y'all got a bitch blown away. <laughs> I kind of wish it had been longer, but it's such a short read. It's really fun. It plays, I can't say what themes it necessarily plays without spoiling anything, but it plays with some really interesting themes. The idea of morality, right and wrong. And I think a bit of sci-fi often isn't short, you know? Like sci-fi, I think of sci-fi as being these long ass books that just kind of put you to sleep. Think about your boring, darling. You know, but th Whereas I think it's really refreshing to have a sci-fi book that is so short and is so readable and is just like you fly through it. It's high stakes, you know, his family is relying on him. So that really keeps the momentum going all the way through. You know, this whole book is kind of tense rather than having ebbs and flows. Like you're kind of just on edge the whole time. Next is actually a non-fiction. Oh, it is Twas the Night Shift Before Christmas by Adam Kay. This is by the author of This Is Going To Hurt. This is 142 pages. So we're getting a little bit bigger. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. Adam Kay is an ex-junior doctor. And so he's now a comedian. And this book and the other book are his diaries of being a junior doctor and basically all the shit doctors go through in the UK and how stupid our population can be but also how much the NHS is just being completely debilitated by lack of government funding and lack of government care and so it really has layers to it where it's hilarious but also very hard hitting as well and this book is all about Christmas so it's taking you through I think he has six Christmases and just taking you through what happens at Christmas and how crazier stuff happens at Christmas and he does work on the maternity ward for the majority of his career and so if childbirth and babies and pregnancy are triggers for you I wouldn't recommend this because it's what it's predominantly about but it's hilarious just the way he views everything is so funny and he manages to bring so much light to some dark situations and also just yeah getting a look into this profession that i'm never gonna go into because your girl ain't minded that way stop the motherfucking music you are you dumb is really interesting and i can't wait to read everything he puts out in the future he's such a funny guy and coming up to Christmas, I feel like this is a great thing to read. The next is Meet Cute Club by Jack Harvin. I speak about this quite a lot, so I won't go into like too much detail because I've read it quite recently and I've spoken about it a lot since. But this is the first romance book I actually like. <laughs> yeah. You may say I'm a so this is about two individuals, one who works at a bookstore, one who runs a romance book club, and the one who works at a bookstore makes fun of the other one for being into like old, why did I say two individuals? It's two guys, two guys. <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry, two guys. Yeah, he makes fun of the other guy for liking like old women romances. And then he joins the book club and it's their romance and it's so cute. It's so cute. I really, really love this. I love the characters. It's a, also a love of books. Like this book is all about the love of books. And so reading DNF in a book just makes me so excited. If like me, you weren't or aren't super into romance, this is a great place to start. It is only 186 pages. It's a little bit steamy. There's like two sex scenes, which I think is a good amount for like 180 pages page book you get a lot of time with the two characters and them learning about each other and learning how to like love each other and it's just such a nice story so yeah everyone read meet cute club <laughs> and then the last book that i wanted to mention i am cheating a little bit because in my head short books are under 200 pages and this one is 214 but it does have entire pages that are illustrations so this is a monster calls by patrick ness and this is about a young boy whose mum is dying of cancer he's really you know struggling his mum is getting worse and worse and then this monster appears outside of his house and promises to tell him three stories if in return connor the boy tells him the truth tells him the real his real truth let me tell you i sobbed <laughs> Like, 
I cry a lot, but I sobbed. If you're in need of a quick cry, this is it. I would really recommend the illustrated version. The illustrations on here are beautiful and really add to the atmosphere. It's just heartbreaking. It's so sad, but also so revealing and so insightful and just such a lovely story. This really feels to me like really taking, this is gonna sound so stupid. Like sometimes I just really say the stupidest stuff, but it feels like you're really taking the word story down to its purest form. Sometimes you read books and they don't feel like a story. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of old school childlike feeling of a story and that's what this feels like. Not only will it be a quick read but it will get your tears and emotion out and it's just a lovely lovely tale so yeah I would definitely definitely recommend this. So there we have it that is all of my short book recommendations. Let me know if you've read any of these or if you want to read any of these which ones you're gonna get to first. Yeah I hope it was helpful if you're struggling with your good reads goal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very very soon in another video. Bye!